All right. So, uh, you're given a charge density, and you want to know the total charge in a sphere, All right? So, uh, first thing you can do is look at the R. It's going to go from here, like let's say this is three centimeters, to here, five centimeters, right? That's kind of the length of the integral you're looking at. Oh yeah, I kind of should back up a little bit. Like, since you know the, uh, that you're going, that you're looking at a sphere, you should know to use like spherical coordinates and start already thinking about a, um, a triple integral for the sphere. Because you see how this is like um, over meters cubed, you kind of know you're dealing with the, with the three-dimensional volume. Obviously, it's also talking about spheres, so you should kind of know. I'm going to end up using this sphere equation, which looks like this. This is from calc, from calc 3 probably, or like whatever calc you got, row squared. Sine theta, zero, d of, wait, d of, um, d phi, d theta. And then, uh, we need to find out like the bounds of your of what you're gonna do the integral over. So this one's pretty obvious, right? You're gonna go from three to five centimeters. There's three cm, five cm. The next one's also pretty simple. You'll drag that sucker around, make a plane. It'll look something like this, right? So you know to get the full circle of it to look something like this. You're going to have to go 360 degrees. And what's 360? 2 pi. You guessed it, baby. Good job. I'm proud of you. 0 to 2 pi, right? <laughs> the next one. I'm sorry. I'm being kind of dumb. The next one's going to be... Uh, this is a little more tricky. Not too bad, though. Since you're going from... Since you only need to go from, like, here up through... Because you're, you're kind of... You're evaluating through this plane. Because you have this red plane here. And now you're going up down through and all the way up and if you think of this as like an angle because that's what we're using here it's our angle theta we would only have to go pi angles because if we went two pi we'd be counting we'd kind of be counting twice think about it we should it's like 180 degrees pi so uh yeah that's pi and obviously you're going to multiply this by 0 0.2 microcoulombs per meter cubed. And then, um, shit, what do you do next? I'm kind of thinking. Um, oh, yeah, you just plug it all in. So that's easy. So I'm kind of going to work backwards, even though you shouldn't do this. Like, this is stupid. Don't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So sine theta, sine theta is going to give you like this. Since the rest of this is constant, you can just look at sine theta like this. D theta. And this will give you a 2 if you evaluate that. Because this will give you negative cosine. And then the, the ones will add because it's uh, cos is 0, cos pi. And it'll be 1. And it'll kind of end up adding. It'll give you a 2. Next part over here is 0 to 2 pi. And it's just evaluated at uh, d phi, which there's nothing there. Oh, wait, this is sine theta. Sorry, d theta. It's just a constant, so it's just going to be 2 pi. So those two together, multiplied, are going to be 4 pi. So the only integral left is this this first one here. And I'm going backwards. It's like, like I said, it's kind of dumb to do it like this. But um, whenever you, you kind of see this situation a lot, where you have the 0 pi and 0 to 2 pi. So I kind of just know that's going to turn into 4 pi. So now you have 
Um, I'll just write out everything we've done so far. Four pi times 0 0.2 microfarads per cube. And we still have this integral to deal with centimeters over pi centimeters rho squared uh, d rho. Now this one's not too hard either. It's going to be, so this will be 0 0.8 And this will just be uh, row cubed over three. And I'll just write out um, five centimeters cubed over three minus three centimeters cubed over three. Yeah, I'm skipping steps. I don't like, I'm trying to do the physics shit with you guys. It's not really like, I'm not worried about math. If you want that, go somewhere else. Uh, So yeah, we've got all this. We'll call it Q. And if you, if you notice, this is a meters cube. These will give you meter cube values. So you're gonna be left with a coulomb value. And this evaluates to uh, 82.1 picocoulombs. So that's part one. Good job guys, you did part one. So now, um, Part B, find R1 if half the total charge is located in the region three centimeters to R1, from three centimeters to R1. And we're looking for R1 here. Okay, so first thing to notice is half the total charge is located from three centimeters to R1. So now, instead of doing three centimeters to five centimeters, you're going three centimeters to some point R1 and that's we don't know what that is but we do know that it's equal to half the charge so what can we do first find out half the charge well Q half equals half of this which is 41.05 picocoulombs so we know what half the charge is we want to know where that R1 value lies so what do we do we set an equation so we use this guy again, same, um, we could actually go all the way to this part right here. I'll just take this equation, 0 0.8 pi microcoulombs per meter cubed times the integral of 3 centimeters instead of 5 centimeters like I was saying, we have R1. That's kind of the trick. P squared dp. And what do we set that equal to? We set that equal to this shit right here. 41.05 picocoulombs. Now that's a row. This is a p. But just just know that. Um, dang, my little scratcher thing is not working as well. All right, so you would solve this. 0 0.8 pi microcoulombs per meter cubed. This would be um, I'll times one over three. That's not a cop cross product, it's just times. I'm just lazy. It's one over three. This would be R1 cubed minus three centimeters cubed. That'd be equal to 41.05 picocoulombs. So next what you do is you'd multiply, um, or you'd divide all this shit over. Centimeter cubed equals 41.05 picocoulombs over all that shit. 0.8 pi microcoulombs per meter cubed. Um, and you would add over this three centimeters and then square root the whole thing, cube root the whole thing. So it would look like this cube root of. Because you're trying to get rid of this three, obviously, this, this to the power of three. So 41.05 picocoulombs, 0.8 pi microcoulombs per meter cubed. Um, what was I doing again? Oh, it's added to three centimeters cubed. And then 
notice again it's always good to look at units like i feel like that helps me a lot personally so if, if you have this three here this root three and you have meters cubed you're going to end up with meters which is what you're looking for because you're looking for a meter value and then r1 evaluating this you would get 4.24 centimeters so there you go peace